Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a marshmallow tutorial. Just a plain little white marshmallow. They can be made in different colors. I think a lot about texture and color whenever I start to make a new food. I've been making these marshmallows for um, a few years now. Um, one of my best selling, uh, best noticed products is the s'more charm bracelet I make. I make the full s'more, I make the marshmallows, the graham crackers, and the chocolate squares. And I gave a lot of thought, and it was a lot of trial and error to find the right texture for the marshmallow, but I like it to have a very soft kind of a look. Sorry, I know it's boring sitting and watching with nothing. This right here is flour. You can also do it with cornstarch, but I like the texture of flour better for this. I use a bleached flour to try to keep it as white as possible. Here is some white Primo. For this one, I'm not going to be too careful about the size. I do have a, I do, what I'm going to do first after you've conditioned it is roll it into a ball. But what I um, am going to provide for you is a tutorial that has step-by-step -step color photos, all the dimensions, and then I also have a little section for a tiny itty bitty more to scale marshmallows as well. For those I do usually use the cornstarch. Um, the bigger ones always get the flour. Uh, I'm going to show you the technique right now and after I'm going to discuss lint because I don't know if you can see it here but there's a little bit of lint and I'm going to give you my tips on how to prevent that as much as possible but you can see I'm just rolling it around in the flour roll 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 I just go ahead and roll the flour in there really really well what this does is this starts texturing the side I use this technique to actually texture quite a bit of foods, but as you can see, I'm continuing this for a while. It's not just a quick run through and drop it, because I really, really want to have some texture to this to make it look soft. Okay, so make sure I keep it in a circle. Once you're done with that, you have a little ball. And then I have the ball between two fingers and with my other fingers, I just start twisting. This is going to give you the marshmallow shape. I'll go ahead and stop here for a second so you can see that that marshmallow shape is starting. You can do it as much as you want. You can have soft edges or hard edges. Here we go. And from here, as soon as you have the exact shape you want and the exact height of the marshmallow, you just cook it. And after you finish cooking it, you will take a paintbrush and dust off any remaining flour. The other thing you can do as well is um, you can, if you're wearing jeans, or a cotton fabric. I'll often even dust it off on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a finished one so you can see that. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to show you the charm bracelet that has a finished marshmallow on it. Oh. There we go. Sorry, I was just opening up the clasp backwards. There will be the texture for the cover photo, too. And I'm trying to see... The camera phone doesn't have a good micro lens. I'm not sure if you could see there. But it's not perfectly smooth. 
so it's nice and it's soft. And then there's my graham cracker. There's my full s'more. But you can see how the texture of the marshmallow isn't a flat smooth. In order to get this nice soft texture, you really have to do that flour part. And then you just dust it off, all the flour off, as soon as uh, it comes out of the oven. So that's it. Go ahead and look at the uh, the free tutorial that I pop down below that's written out and it has lots of step-by-step -step photos. And thank you for joining me.